mentioned these two have met. They met twice, home and away, in that first group section, and uh, one win each. And a big bobble just before it hit Farouz. You can hear John Terry saying, get hold of it. Farouz tried to play in Laukovic. There's Lewis Baker cutting in. Nicely done, Laukovic for Loftus Cheek. Good effort, only just wide. Really good football from Chelsea. Terrific, great play. Lovely to watch it, isn't it? For Alex Davy at half time, we understand. So Alex Davy will have the pleasure of playing alongside John Terry, possibly if he goes beyond the half time point, although we're not sure that he will. May well come off at the break himself. We'll see. Here is Laukovic, meanwhile. We know he's got the speed. Oh, he's cut it back very well indeed. He can ask no more than that, right in the danger area. Do you know what? He had two choices here, Lalkovic. He either takes one touch and delivers, because we had bodies in the box, or he takes his man on. He decides to take him on. Now, whichever he chooses, we need a cross. He's done brilliant there. That's a great ball in, and we could have got something from it. Saville making it his own, making sure the ricochet fell his way through sheer desire, if nothing else. He's had a good uh, 18 minutes, George Saville. Is Baker and Billy Clifford worth a hit? Well, again, Billy unlucky. You know, doesn't quite get the connection on the ball that he's looking for. Some good play. Don't forget, you know, the, he's probably played quite a bit matches behind closed doors that we don't know about. This is where it becomes competitive. He's up there in the middle for this, and he got the header in as well, didn't he? I'm surprised he never hit the target. Well, he it, normally does. It's a great ball in, isn't it? Great delivery, especially at this stage just after Christmas and the break, as you don't want the injuries. As long as we don't get the in injuries, and, and maybe, you never know, there might be some additions to the squad as well. Well, it's not a big squad, it's a quality squad, but it's not big in terms of numbers. Chelsea have used fewer than any other Premier League team this season, and that's even with Nathan Aki getting a debut. No Aki tonight, there is a Lalkovic and there is a Farouz, and he has just ankled that one over the top. Do you know what, this is a difficult to take. For I think if he'd have been up against it and finding it very, very tough, I think we'd have probably seen him almost definitely go off it half time but maybe as, as a game e it's an easier game for him he might want to do a little bit longer but I think it'll be all down to how he feels at half time there's Laukovic deep cross and it's a decent one and it drops now for Clifford who did really really well because he had to wait for it to drop and all that time they were coming out at him the Fulham defence it was deflected wide but some great approach play we kept the ball very well just that final shot on, on target that we need Saville out to Lalkovic again. Lalkovic gets the cross in via a deflection. That's as far as it goes, but look at the pace to win it back. Well done, him. Catching Altman napping, and this is Saville. Did that take a nick? I think it did. Chelsea's corner. And now George Saville, I've seen him stick a couple of screamers in this season against Crystal Palace. It's the second crack he's had from distance yeah, tonight. Lalkovic does well. You know, initially, his cross wasn't the best, and I think he could have done better but very quick to react and get the ball back feed it to George who just gets his body in the right position to set up the strike for goal corner Lewis Baker takes well, this one's deep enough Terry's up and Terry met it and uh, he might have another go here he did he got his head on it and Saville this time with the right boot that was, that was a fair bit closer yeah, the old swinger from George Saville unfortunately gets underneath two or three positions that players think they can play but it's up to the coaches to, to convince either themselves or, or, or them that they can play in those positions. You know, I, I, I played it, as you know, as a winger, but you know, in some ways I think I would have been better playing in the number 10 role, as you, if you like, alongside a big centre forward. Problems here, this is Altman and a first proper save of the game for Sam Walker. It's a good save as well. Concentration, we often talk about that. With Concentration at the back from Terry. Eight first half minutes left. Lalkovic fancied the counter and he might get his wish here because Loftus-Cheek has popped it straight back to him. Nasser Christensen was pretty quick though, he got back well, the Fulham right back. Lalkovic's ball in is dealt with in a very composed manner by Sean Kavanagh. Closing down from Farouz to win it back though, here comes Nditi to Billy Clifford, it's worth a strike. He hit it well enough but he hit it straight out. So it's so many times, haven't we, those through passes that he makes, Ben. You know, 30, 40 yards, not really long ones, but right through the heart of defense, defenses and splits them apart. Just leave the runners and usually a final pass. Neatly done by Loftus-Cheek, he wants it back, he'll get it back. And he's onside here as well, and he's got the better just about of Sean Kavanagh. 
Option in the middle, maybe. Either he felt he didn't have one or he fancied his chances. I bet he wish he'd passed now. <laughs> right at the end of that first half. That is about it in terms of scares at the back for what was Terry and uh, Christensen in the first half. It's Christensen and Davy in the second. Looks like Lewis Baker's gone more central, Clive. Yeah, and I think that's probably to expect to be expected. Uh, Lewis has, uh, for me, he's got some great ability. He's got great vision. He's got two good feet as well. And I think, as we talked earlier on, maybe a lack of creativity in the first half. But here's Adam Anditu, who's got the pace and the energy to run up and down that line. So maybe he can create something here. Nice ball into Lalkovic and uh, following a theme of the evening, I'm afraid. One of those was deflected away, one was straight at the goalkeeper. In fact, three, one was over the crossbar. But uh, it's um, you know, few and far between who seem to be striking the ball on target. Nice little inside drift from Altman that time again. And he's tested Walker again, but not quite as much as he did first time around. Fulham's team, by the way. Looked very good in last season's victorious run. Classy looking midfield player. Got some good qualities, hasn't he? Absolutely terrific when he sort of gets the ball and makes those runs forward and you know, links play. I mean, he just he seems to have everything, doesn't he? I think for a midfield modern midfield player, and I'm sure we're going to see a lot more from him. And here he is here with a lovely ball. First touch. It's a beauty. It should have been one nil. Musonda's missed the one on one. Well, there you go. Right on cue, John Swift. Perfect pass. Spot on, wasn't it? And, and that's what he's capable of. He just sees the pass. He's relaxed. He just sees the opportunity. Decent run by Misonda as well, to be fair to him, because he's kept himself on side. But the pass was sublime, and Misonda will be disappointed. He should have done better. Got to score there. Great opportunity. What a shame. Almost instant impact from John Swift, who spotted that pass immediately. And those are the passes we haven't seen enough of in the first half, Ben. You know, those little cutting edge passes that make all the difference. The difference between winning and losing a game, scoring or not scoring. And we want to see more of those. Baker brought it down nicely and spread it even better. Here's Musonda then taking on Christensen. Musonda. Christensen got back to get the touch. It's a corner. Good yeah, direct run. Well, it's a great ball initially from Lewis Baker. Altman over the corner. Good delivery. Great chance. Not taken. I think it was Ryan Williams coming in who barely got a flick on it. It looked like he should have had a bullet header straight into the back of the net. And Chelsea should have done, should breathe have again. Done. Yeah, should have scored. Having said that, I just thought after giving him so much praise, George Savile, I think he's just got up, lost his marker. Lobs on here for Peruse. He may not need, need the lob. It's in! Brilliant! There you go. That's what we talked about. I told you it was deadly. It doesn't matter what the yardage is. Joranen, who hasn't put a foot wrong all night, was way out of bounds there. And Islam Farouz has found the bottom corner from 45 yards plus. Well, we talk about the counter-attack. I mean, they don't come better than that, do they? One man up front, one clearance, and he's straight onto it as quick as you like. What the goalkeeper was doing on this occasion, Ben, I'm really not sure. He's got a defender coming across. He doesn't need to be so far up the field unless he thought this ball was travelling in all the way through and at some stage he was going to get there. But the pace of Farouz was excellent. The finish, sublime. But the goalkeeper, having given him some praise as well, has made a complete error. Because you know, once you score one, strikers, all they want to do is shoot for goal again and get another goal. Ball up towards Swift, who had made the uh, deepest run of all. Cleared by Pritchard, who's just had a bit of a talking to from Alan Young, the referee. I'm not quite sure what that was about. Here's Swift. Perfectly rolled pass into the path of Laukovic. The cross was excellent. The acrobatic spectacular. And the follow-up from Savile blocked. Corner. Do you know what, Ben? I mean, that, that is absolutely brilliant. Do you, do you know how they start as well? John Swift is in that sort of position. But to be fair to the young man, he's taken it really, really well. Um, we've needed the goal just to change the picture of the game because we've been totally in command. Fulham have not offered anything going forward. We've been by far the better side. But as we know, it's all about putting the ball in the back of the net. And uh, now, thankfully, we've done it. And I can't see at the moment that Fulham can 
come back, although you just never know. Yep, and there's only one. Laurie Dallavalla did well there. Deflection on the cross, and Sam Walker's watched that ball well there. That's good hand. Took a reflect, didn't it, on the yeah. way in. Getting players to improve as they as they go along. Savile out to Laukovic, who's onside, and look at Farouz in the middle. Chelsea one hand ball. Yes, and get it. I was waiting for the point. Yeah. Eventually it came from Alan Young. Penalty it is. That took his time, the referee, but I don't think there's any doubt here. Sean kind of Kavanagh, and we see him jumping with his hands in the air. You just can't do it. You put your hands up like that. Doesn't matter if you turn your back, your hands in the air, out wide, outstretched. If the ball strikes him, it's always going to be a penalty. Lewis Baker is the usual penalty taker. And he's buried it, and the lead is doubled. 20 minutes left, but Chelsea looking good for a, an opening win for 2013. That's a big grin on his face, and he enjoyed that, Lewis. And he struck it well. Good penalty, nice and powerful, sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. Balance of play. I don't think that's any more than we deserve. Let me see it again. Firmly struck into the corner. No chance at all for the goalkeeper at all. Here's Williams. What a chance that was for him with the header. Little flip from Farouz. He had two he could have picked out with it. Sav got it and looks for the early switch. Kept in by Mish, as they call him, Lamisha Musonda. Here's Farouz, has got turned and goes for goal. No surprise there. <laughs> I just thought Musonda just lost all cohesion. He's gone there. for the full Roy the Rovers, has the All the, the feet one. off the yeah. ground, the works. Yeah. At 2 0 up, it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. The lads will rip him apart. And uh, all part of the banter, of course. Touch on from Alex Smith, wants it back, gets it back, and fires it a brilliant first time cross the Fulham skipper there. And Laurie Dallavalla sliding in, couldn't make contact. That's a fantastic cross. That's good build up play as well by Fulham. It's probably the best we've seen. Superb delivery. Look at that into the box. I'm not sure what Dallavalla was doing. He's gone with his left foot, really should be going with his right foot here, outstretched. He never ever gets there. He'll say there was too much pace on the ball, but I think as a centre forward, I think you'd tell that, say that to Islam. I think he'd be throwing everything at that to try and score. Lori Dallavalla was part of the deal that uh, took Paul Koncheski from Fulham to Liverpool. And uh, some money, plus Dallavalla and another youngster came the other way. The other youngster was Alex Kanitslich, who plays every week now in Fulham's first team. Here goes Farouz, taking on Kavanagh and going for goal. Why not? Well, again, Islam showing what he's all about. A lot of players wonder if his chance might have gone for this season to get himself a, a debut. What a wonderful flick and a trick that was. And Savile's now got it back. George Savile. And again, he wants the goal himself. He's not going to get it twice. He's denied by good blocks. Once from the keeper, once from the centre-back. Here's Swift. Chelsea just about got time for a third. And away it goes. Well, he's made a great strike, hasn't he? It's got to be a free kick. He's done ever so well again, Adam, there. A little nutmeg. Just held off by the defender, Christensen, and should have been a free kick, but Fulham come forward with the ball. I just feel the game is petered out to nothing, and Chelsea can see themselves through. Yep, final whistle. And a good win, Clive, all round. Excellent. You know, it wasn't particularly the best first half, although we had good possession and moved the ball about. Movement was pretty good. I think Dermot would be reasonably happy, but obviously that opening goal was going to be the deciding factor, and, and it certainly was. Fulham, Fulham never offered anything as an attacking force. A couple of late crosses, though, could have caused, caused us some embarrassment, but at the end of the day, clean sheet and two goals, more than acceptable. Farouz from distance, you won't see many goals like that, and a Lewis Baker penalty enough to seal Fulham here at Cobham by two goals to nil.